What is up Africana fam? It's your girl Young Africana back at it again with another video. Today is day four of the love series. If you guys have not tuned into my love series, go ahead and check it out. I'm kind of done explaining the love series and stuff. But if you are new, the love series is um, my Valentine's Day series. I'm doing a series up until Valentine's Day. I'm pretty sure right after you're watching this, it's already Valentine's Day or past Valentine's Day. And I'm supporting black owned businesses while I'm doing it. Um, because you know it's Black History Month, y'all. Like, come on, we just gotta support the black businesses, all right? So yes, I'll be doing a series of reds, pinks, and purples for the series because those are the staple colors of Valentine's Day, if you do not know but yeah you guys so today 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 today's look is some chunky chunky highlights i put some blue in it even though blue is not a part of the valentine's day scheme i felt like it would definitely complement pink and purple and i just i wanted more va va boom i wanted to you know bring it up a couple of notches you feel me so i went ahead and added some blue so these are a mix of fuchsias and purples and blues and i am feeling this look y'all this came out super super dope and plus this is a closure wig so the company that i am working with today is me <laughs> let me stop um but yeah it's me again you know your girl like i said is i'm trying to come out with a wig collection so this is how um it looks as y'all can see the hair super duper soft like come on it's my hair so why did not be why wouldn't it be soft like come on y'all see the bob is bobbing y'all Yeah, I know some of y'all y'all probably gonna do this so you know you can get some motion when you're doing your thing you feel me let me stop <laughs> let me give a piece of 13 or whatever but uh yeah y'all this this bob is bobbing y'all it's bobbing bobbyana feel me whatever you want to call it um so if you guys want to see how i colored this hair and installed this hair then keep on watching but before you guys go on to the next segment go ahead and give your girl a big fat thumbs up if you are already feeling this video if you are feeling my look because you know it helps get the the message that you need to save your edges out there to the rest of the world you feel me um it helps broaden out the audience so go ahead and do that go also 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 go ahead and subscribe to me go ahead and click that bell right next to the subscribe button so you guys get notifications of when i drop my videos and yeah like i said it's good for the algorithm and your edges so if you guys want to see how i achieve this look Thank you. All right, so first things first, we are starting with a bucket of warm to hot water, and I'll be using my Shimmer Light Shampoo just to tone our hair. Like I said, this hair is from me. I have, um, this is a self-made wig, so I have a 10 inch and a 14 inch, the 10 at the bottom, the 14 at top, with a 14 inch lace closure, you guys. And right now, I'm just going to go ahead and mix up the mixture and make sure that there is no, um, shampoo flying away and then I'm gonna go ahead and dip the hair and you want to make sure you're just toning the hair and getting rid of all the brassiness because we are doing lavender and what you guys don't know and the trick about this is you have to do this when it comes to lavender if you want that true lavender color because the lavender color has like almost like the same components as the purple shampoo and it will not take or won't take well if you don't tone the hair to a platinum color because lavender is technically a platinum type of color so it's a little science right there for you guys just in case you guys know so you cannot skip this step at all if you want the lavender that I got okay all right now going in with a new bucket of water I'm gonna go ahead and use my adore lavender and I only used one bottle and again, I'm just going to go ahead and mix that up. And as you guys can see, it's almost the same exact color as the purple shampoo. So please, please, please tone your hair to get all the yellowness out so you could, you know, 
get the correct color and right now I'm just dipping the hair and dipping the hair I'm just gonna dip the hair until I get my desired color I did add a little bit of my adore cotton candy just like a squeeze a little bit because I kind of wanted to have a little bit of pink hues in it just a wee bit you know so I went ahead and did that and um, yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and keep on dipping it until I get my desired color now after this was done I went ahead and just um, rinsed it out and then we're gonna go into the highlights and like you can do the highlights wet and I left the hair damp so I could do my highlights now on to the highlights you guys we are using four colors so right now what I'm gonna go ahead and use is my kiss temptation color and the color blue moonlight and I'm gonna mix that with my OGX coconut um, conditioner you want to make sure that you have a white conditioner because I kind of want a pastel -y color and that color was a little bit too deep for me so I went ahead and just mixed it with conditioner just to brighten it up also too this also helps condition your hair because when I washed my hair out it was so soft chef's kiss you guys chef's kiss so the next color I'm gonna go ahead and use is neon pink from a door I'm gonna go ahead and mix that in with the white conditioner again just to lighten up the color brighten it up you know Next color I'll be using is my Adore Purple Rage and I'm going to go ahead and mix that in with that white conditioner again. And the white conditioner, like I said, is just to brighten up the color, make it a little bit more on the pastel side because these colors are deep colors. And the last color I'm going to be using is Lavender from Adore and I'm going to mix it in with my conditioner. All right, now on to the coloring. So when you're coloring this, you guys, we're doing very chunky highlights. This was probably the easiest highlights I've ever done in my life. So I'm going to go ahead and start off with the pink, the neon pink. And you want to make sure when you're doing these colors that no color or no same color overlap each other. So I'm taking big chunky um you know sections of the hair and you know I'm just using different colors and then you know from the tracks above it you want to make sure that there's no color that is the same overlapping right on top of each other because it defeats the whole purpose of the highlights and having dimension if everything is in one line that looks kind of crazy you know so what I do is I just intertwine between each color and stuff making sure that you know um, pretty much like there's no color that is overlapping so like you kind of have to just watch and make sure that you're um, not overlapping any colors the colors could definitely be diagonal from each other but not directly on top of each other so that's the goal that we're going for you guys so you know I started off with the pink going into the blue we're gonna go into the purple and then last but not least into the lavender and this is our halfway progress as you guys can see we're looking pretty good y'all and you know we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing all the way up until you reach the closure piece and you just want to make sure that there are no colors overlapping each other it's pretty repetitive you guys but you guys get the gist I hope you guys get the gist and I'm explaining it correctly and well for you guys to understand what I am talking about and when it also comes to um, blending you want to make sure that you're using your brush in a vertical motion when you're going towards like the root like I'm doing right now just so that you don't have a line of demarcation another thing that helps with lines of demarcation is using your index and your middle finger and just going in between and rubbing it in between the colors like I'm doing right now you guys that helps diffuse the color seamlessly I promise you guys you will not be disappointed that is a whole trick for you guys if you guys struggle with having you know just lines of demarcation or like your colors not blending in seamlessly
and overall these are the final results you guys you guys are seeing the chunkiness you're seeing the different color variations going on we're looking good so i just went ahead and rinsed out the hair and i went ahead and blow dried it and this is how we are looking like this it, it's giving picasso it's giving van gogh you know <laughs> but right now we're gonna go ahead and use our carrot care wax stick and we're going to prep our hair to make it flat as possible so i went ahead and did that around the hair or around the closure piece and then i'm gonna go ahead and use my andis um hot comb in the medium setting again when it comes to colored hair, you do not want to have it on the highest setting unless you want to fade out your color. If that's what you're intending to do it, then by all means, set it up to the highest, you know? But I went ahead and used it on the medium heat, so I went, I went ahead and used it on 10. And right now, I'm just flattening out my hair. And what I did to make the closure even flatter is go in sections, use my Kara Kara wax stick, and then hot combed in those sections of the closure so that it is nice and flat. As you guys can see, I'm doing that right now. Putting that Care Care Wax stick on there and then using my hot comb. And that's how you get a real flat, you know, closure. You're welcome, you guys. You're welcome. <laughs> And then I'm just going to go ahead and repeat the same thing on the same side. Alright you guys, now on to flat ironing. I'm going to go ahead and use my OGX Moroccan Argan Oil and I'm going to use that as my heat protectant just so we can have this hair nice and flat. And then I'm going to go ahead and use my Con Air Infinity Pro Titanium Flat Iron. You can get this at Ulta and it's only sold at Ulta I believe um, for about like I think like $40 or $45. It's a really good flat iron you guys. So I'm just going to go ahead and you know do the... The chase method with my comb and the flat iron. We're just gonna go ahead and flat iron this bad boy. When I tell y'all this hair is so soft, I'm not saying it because it's my hair. I mean, of course, I'm gonna say it because it's my hair, but it is super soft. Literally, only one pass and the hair was flat. And I feel like that more so goes because of the conditioner that we had inside the hair and you know, we left it in there. By the way, I didn't say what how long I left it in for. I left the color in for about um, an hour. I left it in for an hour and then rinsed it out. I'm so sorry, you guys. I, I almost forgot. But yeah, you guys, as you guys can see, it's looking very laid, very slayed. It's giving. It's giving, you guys. And also, too, you also see that the colors are fading in super duper nicely. There are no lines of demarcation at all. And that's the overall look that you want. All right, now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and put the wig on my head and then cut where I wanna cut. Usually I will just go in with the mannequin head, but I don't trust myself that much because I played myself the last time doing a bob and it came out shorter than, I want, than what I wanted. And I didn't want this bob to be an extremely short bob. So I went ahead and cut both sides of where I wanted to be at. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my wall senior clippers. And I'm just gonna go ahead and start clipping my life away, y'all. And I went ahead and started on the sides, then I started on the back, then I went to the sides. I was kind of all over the place, you guys, because I'm still not the best at cutting hair on a mannequin. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's like I'm not placing the wig rightly on the, on the mannequin, or maybe it's the mannequin head that I'm using. I don't know, but yeah, I'm still, I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it, y'all.
all right now that the first step is done as you guys can see the color is definitely coming together now that we have cut it but now i'm gonna go ahead and bend my mannequin head just to catch any parts that i missed and this will definitely this is definitely a game changer y'all this takes your bob from zero to a thousand you want to make sure you catch any parts that are uneven and just match it up with where you cut it at and i promise you your bob finna be bobbin all right Now on to the install. So I went ahead and put on this wig cap and I'm going to go ahead and tint that section of where I'm putting that wig on my wig cap as well as the lace. And I'm just cleaning my forehead with 91% alcohol just so we're cleaning off any of the foundation. And now I'm going to go in and use my Erica J Hold Me Down Adhesive. And I only used one layer because the wig was already tight. And um, yeah, you guys, I plan on taking it off like within the next couple of hours. So I just went ahead and just took it off. Oh, <laughs> I just went ahead and did one layer. And I'm just doing one layer. And I'm going to go ahead and place the wig right there once that layer is completely dry once i placed it i'm going to go ahead and use my um, eyebrow razor and cut my lace off and i'm going to go ahead and cut it off in a jagged motion now when it comes to doing your clothes just like a frontal you want to make sure that those little um perforated sides on your closure you cut them off completely or to the point where like it's not visible i didn't show me cutting it off but as you guys can see that little piece right there at the edge of the um closure is showing so you want to make sure you cut it off and cut into the hair so it doesn't show but now i'm just gonna, i'm gonna go ahead and use my glue to just um get any places that i had missed all right, and now on to the meltdown. We're gonna go ahead and use our Gots To Be Free Spray, and I'm gonna spray that all around my hairline. Right now, the lace is looking a bit dark, but it's okay. Once I put on my makeup and everything, it's going to look gushy, okay? And I went ahead and used some spritz too, because I've seen somebody use spritz as well, so I just kinda wanted to mix concoctions and, see, and to see what it was about, you know? All right, y'all, now I'm gonna go ahead and put my elastic band on, and I'm gonna let that sit for about 15 minutes. Now that the 15 minutes is up, I went ahead and took it off, and as you guys can see, it is looking later. <laughs> it's looking later. But I went ahead and did my makeup off camera, and I'm just gonna go ahead and define that part that I have. And we are pretty much done, you guys. This is pretty much the, you know, the finishing results. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. If you did not, what are you doing, mamita? Like, you need to get it together. And, yo, you guys, we are, like, almost done. We have the season finale coming up next after this episode. We are done with the love series. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, and subscribe, like I said before. And that's just on Periodic Table. Later.